decapture using low cost depth cameras. Uh, let me start with the motivation. Many of you may not know it, but Disney has marine scientists who are actively involved in coral reef conservation uh, at Castaway and the Great Abaco in the Bahamas. So what they do is they monitor growth of corals which have naturally broken from the reef in a coral nursery uh, periodically over six month intervals and the corals which show good signs of growth are transplant transplanted back onto the reef. Uh, traditionally the way they measure this growth is by using something called the ecological volume which is a uh, elliptical cylinder that encloses uh, the coral. Now you can see that it's not a really good indicator of the true volume uh, and it's also very cumbersome to compute. So uh, we teamed up with them and uh, we proposed this idea of using 3D reconstructions to estimate the volume uh, to make it more ac uh, accurate and also automate the process. Uh, so for a task like this we need uh, dense depth measurements and accuracies uh, in the scale of a few millimeters uh, because corals uh, typically grow only between 2 and 10 centimeters over 6 months so we really need uh, high accuracy and uh, depth cameras are a good choice for this task. But the challenges of using depth cameras is that most of them are based on using uh, infrared light and it gets heavily attenuated underwater. You cannot see anything beyond uh, 20 or 25 centimeters but luckily for us there are some new sensors in the market or coming up in the market by Intel uh, uh, which can actually see in these ranges and the other uh, major problem is that you have refraction because you have different media participating uh, and then you have all the other issues of waterproofing and uh, making a device self-contained so we actually built this device with uh, the sensor in the red you can see in the CAD model there uh, it also has batteries and a mini PC and the screen and a single diver can uh, use this device and uh, easily use it for scanning corals underwater. So we tested it uh, at Walt Disney World and also it was also used in the Bahamas in a real uh, ocean setting. Uh, let me talk a bit more about refraction. Why do we have refraction? Uh, so as I mentioned we have three different media interacting. Uh, air inside the housing, the house material of the housing itself and water. So you have two points of uh, refraction at the two interfaces and what makes this worse is that uh, if you have a, uh, a depth camera it typically has a projector and a receiver so you have four different points of uh, refraction happening. So we uh, model this uh, using uh, first principles uh, and the parameters uh, are typically the uh, position and orientation of the sensor inside the housing. So this is for a structured light camera and we also have a, a model for a time of flight based camera uh, which you can see in the poster later. later. Uh, and then once we have this model we now have to calibrate uh, the setup. So the uh, key idea here is that if you have a, a single planar surface a, it appears curved due to refraction. And we try to find the parameters of this model by undoing the effects of re refraction and getting back uh, this plane. Uh, let me show you some results. So these are uh, some toy objects which we scanned underwater. And the image on the left is the raw data which the sensor sees. And the image on the right is the uh, data that you get after applying the calibration and some uh, quantitative results. So what we did was we used the same uh, toy setup and uh, made a reconstruction underwater and the reconstruction in the air. And then we compared these two reconstructions using uh, ICP registration error and you can see here that it's a, a pretty close match. So the key contributions are that we have a device which is calibrated and which uses uh, low cost uh, depth cameras readily available and we believe that this is a contribution towards reliable and accurate scanning of marine life. So if you're uh, as curious as the sea turtle here, you can visit me at poster number 2C5. Thank you.